a wonderful tradition of knitting in Yorkshire and there's a lot of stuff that relates to knitting history that relates to knitting in Yorkshire. It was a centre of the wool trade and um, of course also of um, creating knitting yarns and um, there's a centuries old tradition of knitting in this county um, with lots of history and lots of well a, bits of recorded history and various artifacts from history and one of the artifacts that we were talking about last week was Yorkshire knitting sticks these are sheaves that the old Yorkshire knitters used to use to support a needle while they were knitting and I found out this fabulous fact from this book that in the part of Yorkshire where I live which is the industrial part of the West Riding the more um, they commonly used spindle shaped knitting sticks that is round um, turn sticks so they look like a, a turn spindle rather than the um, more shaped sticks that they have in other parts of Yorkshire in the north of Yorkshire perhaps northern parts of Yorkshire the goosewing style was particularly favoured especially around the Dent area and Wensleydale and Swaledale they used goosewing they were shaped they had a, a curvy stick part to stick into the knitter's belt and uh, but apparently in my part of West Yorkshire spindle style was more common and that's why a few years ago I bought myself this this isn't an original um, antique knitting stick this is a modern reproduction this has been made by somebody in Yorkshire um, in recent times I bought it I don't know about two or three years ago from the Dales Countryside Museum in Hawes that's actually in North Yorkshire uh, not an awful long way from Dent which is the uh, village where they have or had the terrible knitters the, te the terrible knittersy dent is the saying they're terrible knitters in dent um, was what they used to say the te they're terrible knittersy dent <laughs> it didn't mean they were bad knitters <laughs> it meant they were great knitters they were really fantastic knitters um, terrible as in really like you know a bit like we say wicked these days well we said terrible back then <laughs> to me that they were amazing <laughs> the amazing knitters of dent this morning I found and uh, I'll share it on um, certainly on my blog next week I might embed it there or at least link to it I found on YouTube this a video it's an hour long video unfortunately the picture isn't remarkably clear it's it's not a great picture but it's fascinating it's three old ladies from Dent teaching about the terrible knitters of Dent it's elderly ladies that remembered lots of things about the knitting tradition in Dent and it's a really brilliant video now a lot of you might struggle with the dialect in it um, unfortunately it doesn't have subtitles <laughs> so you might struggle and there's the sound of the camera whirring as well I don't know how old the video is um, I would think it's at least 20 or 30 years old this video of these elderly ladies in Den sharing fascinating facts about their own knitting sticks that they've had passed down to them by members of their family and stories about their members of their family that were knitters and these old ladies remembered seeing people do what was called swaving apparently the knitters of Dent used to do this rocking motion while they were knitting in which it involved the whole of the arm and the body um, to help them to knit with speed it was called swaving with no video evidence or at least we haven't found any nobody's found any yet uh, that knows knitters and knows where to share it nobody's found it and um, there's no video record as far as we know although Penelope Hemingway thinks there should be some tucked away somewhere and she's doing a dandest to find it there's no video record that we know of showing people doing this so we don't actually know exactly how it worked how it was done uh, we rely on the 
what we're told verbally. Well, these ladies in this video talk about having seen it when they were younger. They saw people swathing. So that was fantastic to listen to some women that have actually seen it. It was brilliant. Anyway, um, I've tried out this weekend knitting with my knitting stick that I've just shown you. I hope I've tucked it back in my belt. I have. I've tucked it in my belt. Uh, last week I showed you some really long needles. They were about 16 inches long, I think. Hello, Laurel. Thank you for joining me. The needles that I showed you were 16 inches long. And I thought that those were the needles that I should be using with my knitting stick. Even though I've seen at the Dales Countryside Museum in Hawes and at the Dent Heritage Centre. I've been to Dent, of course. And, and visited the Heritage Centre there, even though I've not seen long needles like that in either of those places. Because I know, I believe I've read somewhere and I know they sell from the Jamiesons um, and Smith website, you can get long needles. I think the Shetland knitters use long needles with their knitting belts. So I assumed that I would need those with my knitting stick. So I tried and I showed you mm -mm be putting one into the knitting stick last week and I tried it and I found out they're too long <laughs> it really doesn't work for me using needles of that length with my knitting stick um, so I dug around in my collection happily I have some DPNs and it just so happens that I have uh, a lovely set in the right size for the sock that I'm knitting at the moment. These needles are 2.5 millimeter DPNs. I think they would have been, um, they're not perfectly 2.5 millimeter, I don't think. They seem to fit 2.5 millimeter needle in my needle gauge, um, but they're actually vintage needles, so I think these would originally have been sold as UK size 12 knitting needles I think that's my guess anyway they're 2.5 millimeters they fit into that hole in my um did Nana call uh, lots of people still call them pins in this area Mary Margaret lots of people still call knitting needles knitting pins locally that's what we call them or at least certainly the older ladies in our uh, uh, environment do um and, and by older, I mean anyone older than 50 <laughs> calls them knitting pins. And I think some young people as well have learned that from their... Um... No, any knitting needle, uh, Mary Margaret, any knitting needle they call a knitting pin. Uh, not just EPNs, they call them all knitting pins. Um, so, the, yeah, they refer to knitting needles as pins. Now, the ladies in dense, the... in uh, um, you may be amused <laughs> to know it's a bit salacious these days. <laughs> this, they didn't mean anything salacious by it. It's our modern minds <laughs> that think of this. In Dent, they were called pricks. <laughs> and there's this wonderful story of um, the vicar having to tell the ladies in church to um, put their pricks down. <laughs> Yes, Aileen, it's hilarious, isn't it? It tells that story in the old Adnesses of the Dales about the vicar <laughs> having to tell the, not just the ladies, the men too, people used to knit everywhere, telling them to um, put their pricks away. It's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> right, so, so I found that actually, these, these are eight inches. Uh, the, I found that these 8 inch needles were perfect with my knitting stick. What else I found was that I'm more comfortable using them with my knitting stick. It's, it's easier doing it standing up than sitting down, which amazed me. Ordinarily knitting is something that I wouldn't find particularly easy to do standing up. So that was fantastic to learn that. Okay, I've only got a few minutes left, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to stand up and let you see me knitting with my knitting stick, because I presume you'd like to see that. I'm going to let you see me knitting with my knitting stick, with these fantastic vintage um, 
I love the, the coating on these needles, the metallised coating. Hang on, let me move things around. I need to get further away from the camera, don't I? Right, it's fallen out. There it is. So it just tucks into my belt, into my pocket, and I put my working needle, and this is the one that's my working needle at the moment, into it. Now, bear in mind I'm left-handed, so you're seeing, if you were doing this, you would be doing it exactly the opposite to me. You'd have it on your right side. So can you see, even that 8 meter inch needle feels a bit long there, so I'm just going to move that. <laughs> Mary Margaret for being concerned about my bodily safety. <laughs> right, I, I, can you see this? <laughs> that amused me. Right, I'm, I'm actually doing, um, so can you see? It's great. I can, um, oh, hang on. I'm doing two handed stranded colour work, by the way, <laughs> which is what they did. You see, I can just let, let go of the needle to wrap my yarn round. Makes it nice and easy doing that. So, let's finish that needle. Onto my new needle. Dig it in the end. <laughs> you want a knitting stick, Mary Margaret? Isn't it fantastic? Here we go. I've got my yarn right there. Yes. Two more. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep track of my pattern at the same time, which is probably a bit stupid because I'll find I've made a mistake and have to rip out anyway. One, two, oops. So I've not got the rocking motion, have I? Two, three, four, five. Seven, one, two, and I have learned from doing this that uh, I noticed they uh, and I've seen read regularly that they preferred to have curved needles that they had a slight curve in them, and having experienced this now, I understand why. It makes total sense to me that they did that. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. <laughs> I do, don't I? <laughs> I'm coping though. It's the counting that's uh, proving hard because I'm trying to keep track of my pattern. Hang on. Find the uh, hole in my stick. Are you following this? Is it making sense to you what I'm doing? And can you see how it's liberating my hand to do the the yarn wrapping? Good. Which is actually quite useful with this. Uh, oh, dropped a stitch. Correct that. Two, three, four, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Can you see I've got less DPNs than I think you would have in the US and certainly I think in um, Germany they use less as well. Traditionally British DPNs come in sets of four. You have three needles uh, with the knitting on them and you use the fourth to knit with. Right, there we go. That's the end of my round. I'm going to stop there. You, you, yes, I think most people...